So I think as a young elected official, they're probably pretty engaged on social media either way. Um, even the older elected officials are trying to get more engaged. I've had older women come to me and say, I just don't know how to get to those young voters. How do I do this snap thing? And what is this, what is this Twitter? And what, how do you do it? And so like, the older generations are starting to figure it out as well. But for the young elected officials themselves, they're doing a pretty good job. They usually have a personal brand um, or a personal Facebook page, and then they have a professional one that's like their campaign page as well. But they know that they have to reach out to the younger uh, constituents and get them motivated and get them out to vote as well. The millennials have so much voting power. We are the youngest voting bloc. We just aren't registered and we're not showing up. And so they know that if they can get us registered, get us to show up, that we can really make a difference. And so they've started to tap into different, um, different avenues on social media, whether it's a tweet and greet or like a, a Twitter town hall. I just had a caucus in California have a reverse town hall with students from Sac State. And what they did was just bought pizza, bought soda, and sat down with the students, the young elected officials, sat down with the students and said, what are the issues that you want us to work on? And I think that really resonates. Whenever the young constituents can see that their elected officials are taking the time out of their schedules to sit down, have a conversation, and kind of crowdsource ideas from them, what are the things that you want us to work on and how can we better serve you? That helps them build the relationships with the young constituents and across the board as well. Um, social media will get, it's, it's easier than door knocking, it's easier than sending out flyers, it's easier than sending out emails. It's one of the best forms of campaigning and they are really taking advantage of that. Um, so yeah, just building those relationships and making sure that they can connect one-on-one -on -one and with a larger audience across the board.